Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here with Games From Scratch and I've got an excellent open source tool that in all honesty, I did not know this even existed a couple days ago. And when I heard about it, I kind of had really small expectations. It's called MyPaint. I'm like, eh, that's not gonna be that good. And uh, yeah, it's that good. It's actually kind of amazing to be honest. So that's what we're looking at today. We're looking at my paint. You can see it in front of you, this painting I did myself, threw it together this afternoon. All right, it's uh, Van Gogh's Starry Night. But anyways, this is one of those painting applications that's all about natural media. So the closest I can think of are uh, Corel Painter and say Krita. So between those two, it's kind of a good idea what you're dealing with here. This entire idea is about natural media painting. And you've got a number of different brushes available to you over here. We've got Got things like your traditional wet knife so we can sit here and do strokes on our thing here uh, we've got pencils and the cool thing here is our performance is actually rock solid so here we are in the editor I'm actually zoomed in quite a bit you see here we've got like this artboard that we can just sort of work on at any point in time zoom in and out we can pan around move things around like so we can zoom back in on it and you'll notice as I zoom zoom in zoom out the performance is always fine we can even do things like rotate um, we can scale around, etc. So if you want control over your artboard here, you have lots of control and you have lots of performance. All right, so back to the brushes. So across the top here, we've got our paint brushes. So let's get the Starry Night out of the way over here. Let's move off over here so we got a blank canvas to work with. So we've got paintbrush. You see you've got controls over it here. You've got your color selector. You've actually got a lot of options when it comes to color. So you can actually change out to various different kinds. So right now I've got concentric rings showing. If we want a liquid wash, we could go with that instead. Or we could go with your traditional uh, color wheels. We could have a color palette like so. We can close them out as we don't need them. We can have multiple open if we so wished. And yeah, that is your color controls. You'll notice as I'm selecting on one, the other one goes away. Uh, over here, we've, or sorry, is updated as well. Uh, we've got our brush options here. Oddly enough, I can't easily resize this, but we wanna do some ink blotting, say. Ink blots. We wanna do marker, fat marker, fat marker, pointy ink pointy ink and then on the level of brushes come up here you click and you actually find there are a number of different brushes let's head on over to experimental for a second and you're going to see we've got uh bubbles we got a bubble brush we've got uh various different brushes available to us we got a leaf bot we got a dna brush bot and then we've got Again, a bunch of different ones to choose from that have been created for us. You got fine tune controls over your brush over here, the smoothing, whatever. So that has been the paint brush control so far. Next up, we've got a line and curve tool. Uh, so let's get kind of a robust, more robust brush going on here. Let's shut that guy down. Shut that guy down. We'll go back to the traditional. So here I've got charcoal or let's do dry brush. All right. So we got dry brush. We can do straight lines with it like so. We're going to do a straight line and then hold down shift and then bend and twist our line like so. Again, you're seeing the performance is consistently quite good. Now, as you can see, I keep expecting the middle mouse button to be pan, but actually right mouse button is pan. Middle mouse button is this quick menu select you've got going on over here. And then you've got other tools. You've got a multi-line brush. Again, hold down shift to curve your line. Hold down control to set control points. And we got a, a circle brush right there. We have a, a traditional inking brush here with controlled lines. So let's go to the pencil for this one. And let's pan this over. So you see we got zoom. And then we can grab any one of the control points and move it around for fine tuning control on our line. Or we can just draw our line. And you got fine, again, fine tuning controls over that. We got a paint brush that doesn't, or sorry, a fill tool that doesn't work worth a damn. But then again, they never do. You wanna start things off, you can um, quickly go boom and in. You've got the option for uh, symmetric. You can frame it in so that you don't have this infinite workspace if you do not want. Or we can just sit here and do a symmetry. There's our symmetry line. And then we'll pick a brush and you'll notice as we draw across the symmetry line, we get symmetry on both sides. Let's do a slightly bigger brush and you'll see what I mean, like so. So yeah, that, that's kind of the gist of it. It's got a ton of tooling about it. Uh, it's got good performance, great zoom in, zoom out. Funny, as I say, it's got great performance. I start to slow down ever so slightly. On top of that, you've also got a number of different bridges available, sorry, a number of brushes available to you. And best of all, this is a completely open sourced um, package. So if you want to extend it or add something to it yourself, you have that ability. So this is my paint quickly uh, demonstrated in action. Again, I'm only kind of uh, brushing the surface, pun not intended. Okay. Pun was totally intended. Um, but there is a ton that you can do here. You've got full control over the, the hotkeys yourself. Um, you can be in inking mode, freehand mode, uh, 
Yeah, it's just an impressive application. Oh yeah, and you've got uh, layering support over here so you can add and remove layers. You can obviously order them so that they're, you know, how they work on top of each other. Uh, you can specify what kind of layers are and what the interactions are. I, I'm just, again, shocked that I didn't know about this program and then I'm shocked at how well it actually worked once I checked it out. So again, I've only had a little bit of hands-on time with this. I'm probably only like brushing over the surface once again to use a bad pun uh, so i do recommend if you want a natural media program and for some reason you know painter or krita or i guess uh, autodesk has a sketch application out there there's a few of these out there that work uh, there's procreate and so on well this is another one and this one is completely free and completely open source it's actually been around for quite a while so anyways heading on over you can learn more about it over at mypaint.org as you can see uh, somewhat recently my paint 2 was just released after uh, postponement, a uh, long beta and alpha going back to, so the last release was in September, but they've been doing releases since, well, let's see, how far back do we go? Oh, uh, 2008. So uh, this is a program that has been in development for uh, over 12 years now. 2.0.0 uh, was just actually released, as I mentioned earlier on. It is an open source project. So if you want to grab the binaries or the, the newest alpha, which has actually just been made available as well, um, they're available over on GitHub. I will link that in the linked article down below. You can see the new stuff that was added in 2.0, things like layer views, uh, linear compositing and spectral blending, blush stroke dependent on view rotation and um, view zoom, uh, additional symmetry modes, expanded flood field functionality, which still doesn't work that great, uh, new brush settings, including offsets, grid map, additional smudge settings, posterize, pigment, uh, new brush inputs, barrel rotation, base radius, zoom level, grid map, XY, direction 360, attack angle. Uh, if you want to grab the binaries, there are available here for a number of different options. So you have uh, Linux installs here, and then you've got um, Windows in both standalone and in installer format. I don't know if there is a Mac version out there, um, but anyways, that is it. If you're interested in learning more about it, again, it is a completely open source package. Another thing I mentioned earlier on is you can extend the brushes. There are a number of brushes available that people have created. Concept Design, Raymond 2, uh, Divad, Tone Brushing, uh, Caron, 08, Dirty, and so on. So if you wanna go ahead and grab these, there's are available actually while you're in the application, you can actually just grab them. Brush, and then there's an option here for get more brushes. It will bring you to that page we were just at. So it is extensible. You can get additional brushes to make it work to your uh, dreams, basically. I believe that's actually how this guy started life when the original developer started working on it. He wanted, he basically started creating brushes or natural media stuff that he liked, and then it sort of expanded into a painting app. So the whole brush idea is very fundamental to the whole uh, my paint experience. Then on top of that, again, completely open source. It is available under the GPL2 license. It's a very restrictive license. Be sure you look at that. But if you're just using this as an end user and you're not changing or modifying the source code, the license doesn't affect you. That license doesn't um, have any bearing over the content you create using this tool, for example. It just uh, um, has to do with how the actual uh, source code is handled. So quick scroll down and I see once again, only Windows app image files for Linux. So it's Linux, Linux and Windows only, no Mac build from what I can tell. Here you can see all the features and functionality of my paint. And as you saw from that 2.0 release and the fact that a 2.1 alpha is already in the works, this guy has been developed for a dozen years. It's probably gonna be developed for a dozen more, expected to get more and more capable and yeah, so like I said early on, I, I'm not used to being shocked by programs. Uh, I Normally, if something's been around for a dozen years, I generally have known about it. So this one uh, surprised me and uh, impressed me at the same time. So if you are looking for a natural media painting application, check out my paint. Let me know what you think of it. Also, let me know if I'm just an idiot. Have, have you known about this program for a very long time? And yeah, if so, do let me know how much of an idiot I am. I, I always love learning that. Um, and if you do check it out, let me know what you think of it in general, especially if you use it compared to other programs like Painter or Krita and what you think as a comparison between them. I gotta say, again, for a natural media approach, it does really nice work. You get you get nice results. You got tons of brush support. Um, the feedback and the performance, again, is quite good. You got nice zoom, zoom in, zoom out. Great performance going on all over. The only thing that I'm finding a little odd, once again, is that middle mouse button brings up the menu as opposed to 
pan, which is what I expect, and I will never, ever get over that. So anyways, let me know what you thought of my paint, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.